the Greetings family, we are live on Revolutionary Cam. This is Bomani Taimba, and we are still in the Gambia, West Africa, on our Senegal and the Gambia Roots and Culture Tour. And we're at the Soul Food Joint. And this is a, a group of our brothers and sisters from the African diaspora, you know me, Mr. Connect us to all of our folks from the diaspora and all of our folks of the continent. This is what I'm talking about, family. When we come to the African diaspora, to the African continent, uh, we literally need to always understand that we as a people must keep together strong. And our brothers and sisters on the continent, it will make it simpler to us to connect because you're showing us energy of solidarity and strength. Uh, just like you have all the different ethnic groups there in the different countries, uh, those of us coming from the diaspora, is, you, know, you can look at it that way also. So uh, it's a um, form of just balancing, organizing ourselves. So we're getting our, ourselves ready for a nice dinner. Let me, let me see your shirt. You're gonna try it on? That's our wonderful sister right here. She's been super awesome. Super awesome and super supportive. Right? I'm gonna call her Susan the model. <laughs> That's what she was showing you earlier, there you go. It's kind of like we say black man, woman, and child. The Trinity. Huh? And family, I really wish uh, you were seeing the beach, but it's one of those things where when you get here, it gets literally dark quick. And if you know where is it here earlier, we'll be able to show you something nice, but uh, it's what it is. So what we're gonna do is show you the niceness at our own beach resort, which is very, very beautiful and tropical. Uh, so it's uh, one of those things where 
the days go by, so I'm always telling you, if you're gonna come on a journey with us, and do like some of our good brothers and sisters, you can stay longer, stay a few days, stay a few weeks, a few months, stay a few years, or stay forever. It's all good. Yeah. The journeys we do is introduction and connection, and we do a whole lot of networking. And that's literally what you see us doing right here. Networking galore. Yes, my brother, Usman, man. Family, this is the greatest host, man. This is our host slash tour guide slash just good brother. And I appreciate you, brother, honestly. And I'm being real. I couldn't have done this without you because, family, all this planning is serious. You need good people on the ground. Uh, especially you worked it out with our COVID test because, family, when you're here in the Gambia and you got to go to Senegal and the U.S., you will need a COVID test. It will be checked at the airport. It will be checked at the border. There's no way around it. So appreciate you, brother. Any, any good words you want to say? Because yeah, it's our farewell. Thank you very much. I'm very much happy to receive my own family members in my own motherland. You people are not strangers in this land. You are native of this land. We are all part of Africa and we are all African. Africa is one. I was very happy to receive you people here. And I will just tell you that try to inform others to know that they are from here. Let them come and see their own motherland. And whatever you have to do, they come together and we make sure that it will never happen again. Let us not be controlled by the white people. Let us not controlled by the white people and it will never happen again. So I'm very much happy, thank you very much. And today we are also happy. One of, of one of the guys says her birthday, silly. So we are saying happy birthday to her. We wish her many, many more years to come with good health and success. So we invite every African to come back, we are free. If you are coming at the border, don't think about any problem, you are free. I am here, we make everything work, we will not be disturbed, and everything will be done as far as I am concerned in Africa here. So you are serious, man. You literally worked it out for us from the Senegal to the Gambia border and everything. So I'm saying, family, you, you see you see me do it these wonderful journeys, but if it wasn't for brothers like Usman on the ground, that, uh, you know, we wouldn't be able to pull it off. So, family, it's more than just myself. It was a great one. Look, remember yesterday, we were in James Island, everything was down. You were able to, I was able to make it to meet the family of Kunta Kinte. So, this is our right. We have the right to meet them because we are like them. We are Africans like them. So, you must have to be there and meet the families and know where you come from. There are other things they cannot tell you. You can just have the, just a sort of it. But if you come physically on the ground, you see by yourself, brother, you are okay. You know that really you need to come back to Africa. Wherever Africa you are, you have to come back to Africa. Yeah, thank you very much. I am very happy. Appreciate Never you, happy. brother. Peace and black power. Let's keep it strong. Let's keep things rolling. Let's keep the solidarity and energy strong. And that's what I'm saying, family. That's all we're about. We're about connecting the Africans in the dance with the Africans in the content and putting the best energy of our people together to build. So what you have here in the Gambia, you have a group of repatriated Africans in the diaspora, and the, you know, and the countries that we got, you know, rolling right now, Ghana, the Gambia, uh, and Sierra Leone. Um, you know, so from good brothers like, uh, yeah, my brother Rakin here, Goneham, to our brother Dinas, to uh, Black Acres of the Gambia, and you know, so much other names, and myself in Ghana, and along with uh, Sister Amicus and One Africa family, just, you know, just to name a few, you know. Uh, wish I could just you know, run off all the names. All of us are part of an incredible journey that I honestly, you know, you know that's, that's where you wanted to get to, but you honestly didn't know how it would work. But, you know, what I tell you is never give up on your dreams. Always, yes, my brother. Greetings, greetings, how are you? Hey, I'm a mountain, that, that light right there. Let okay. me turn down a little bit. <laughs> greetings, yeah. Um, if you'd like to just, you know, say, a, say a few words, I'm sure a few people have seen you online, on YouTube and around. Oh, and okay, I'm just okay. letting our brothers and sisters know that we have a few countries for repatriation in Ghana, Sierra Leone, uh, and, and the Gambia, and we're just coming together strong. Okay. Yeah, um, I mean, you see all of my brothers and sisters, we all here, we on the continent, uh, here in Gambia. I in particular, I love, absolutely love Gambia. I came here with my family, my mother and my wife, my sisters here, and I have another sister that also lives in Senegal. And uh, just to be, this is like living kind of like a dream, something that my mother, my grandmother, my great-grandparents had of actually returning back here. 
and just to be able to connect. And here, literally, man, it's all love. It's all love. And I love to be able to mingle with my Gambian brothers and sisters. We got brothers from Sierra Leone is here. Um, you know, Nigerian and Ghanaian community as well that you also have here. So I'm pretty much living the dream right now. Um, you know, and it does have different set of challenges, but it's not the same challenges that we would face being back in the diaspora. So um, I'm, I'm absolutely loving all of this. And I appreciate for you to reach out as well for what you do. Well, appreciate so. you, brother. If you can just give everyone uh, your name and sure. any, any, any information, um, as, you know, as, as just try to connect more people to the Gambia. Sure, sure. Okay, my name is Jerron, um, and my YouTube channel is The Melanated Mr. Mosley. Uh, that's my channel. Um, what more? Uh, uh, come, come, please. Uh, Africa has always been the option. Africa is our therapy. Africa is our medicine. So, um, you know, when you have people in the diaspora say, oh no, just stay and fight. I mean, you can do that. You can stay where you are. But here in Africa, if you want to be able to really experience true peace and freedom and just to be able to be amongst your brothers and sisters, it's a no-brainer. This is where you should be. Absolutely, my brother. Appreciate the energy and keep it strong. And we'll definitely uh, continue to network uh, since we have a few more hours for the night. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Absolutely. All right. Jenny, Jenny. So family, family get a nice piece of the action in Africa. And let me just give you some more light. I didn't mean to shine a light on my brother like that. Uh, it's very dark. So we use these uh, external lights and things on our camcorder to just at least show you something. That way we cover, you know, regardless of night or day, you know, we're, we're recording and we're documenting. And this has been an incredible journey and a dream come true because last time I was in the game it was 2006 and you know it's always one of those things where you're like okay you know I'm gonna get back here next year I'm gonna get back here next year next year took a long time to come uh, so now that we're here we have a better way to build a foundation uh, perfect did everybody everybody got their dinner plates in yeah, they got the orders in, so. Everybody got orders in? Yeah, I have. Alright, perfect. Um, I just want a nice fat, fresh, fat grilled fish yeah, and some sauteed veggies and I'm good. The family is showing you some of the beautiful faces of the African diaspora and that energy that we're bringing to the African continent. You know? we're, we're basically reinforcement for the revolution of nation building and black power. And we're looking for the best of the black people everywhere in the entire world. Africa and the diaspora to connect, connect, connect and make it happen. The whole family is that, it's that level of darkness, so... Yes, man. Level of darkness. But money, time in the flesh and family. I finally got me a Gambian jersey. I'm so excited.